tea lovers and foodies. I'm Marlis from Adventures with Tea, and today we're going to talk about one of the easiest and most fun ways to infuse tea into a recipe, and that is by making tea-infused whipping cream. Um, it, first of all, if you've never made your own whipped cream, ugh, once you get used to doing it this way, you won't want to get the, you know, the little cartons of... <laughs> pre-whipped cream, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> at the store anymore. But um, basically we've done it with all kinds of flavors of tea. We've used fruit flavors like peach and um, strawberry, uh, our Savannah's Lemon Meringue that we talked about a few days ago on Lemon Meringue Pie Day. Oh, it's an awesome whipped cream. But what we're doing today is we used our G'day Berry um, herbal tea, which is strawberries and kiwis, to infuse the whipping cream. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Never had to try to do this on live TV before, and usually I'm pouring over a sink. So, um, but basically, we put the tea in last night, just loose. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but um, loose in the carton of whipping cream. Put the carton in the fridge, and then. You shake it up or stir it. Yeah, you definitely want to stir it before you start straining out. But hopefully you can see. So I'm just pouring this out. And the, the fruit chunks are coming out and staying in the strainer. Which, by the way, this it's not Gadget Fridays, but this is a great gadget to have. It's a fine mesh strainer. So now you can see, we're just straining this all out. And there's little bits, you know, the tiny little bits will come through the strainer, which is totally fine. It doesn't hurt anything. But, like, doing this... Um, with a, a strawberry flavor is awesome if you're going to make um, strawberry shortcakes. We've done that. And then you make the tea infused whipping cream to put on the top. So there's still a little more in there, but I'm not going to try to pour it because I don't need a disaster on camera. So, But anyway, there you can kind of see. So the tea stays in the strainer. You get the infused whipping cream. And then you'll add a little bit of powdered sugar and then just whip it. Um, you know, hopefully <laughs> not too far. I've gone just a tad too far before and it starts looking a little bit more like cottage cheese, which is not what you want. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, you know, add your powdered sugar and then just whip it with a whisk or, Alan, how do you? With a blend or the hand blender. The hand, hand blender, blender mixer thingy. I think our favorite combination is mint tea whipped cream on brownies. Yes. Yes, because it really, I mean, you can tell it just pretty much looks like, depending on what you infuse with it, it might change the color a little bit, but for the most part, it just looks like whipped cream when you get it all done, and mm -hmm. then you put it on, and, and so people that... People have no mint, idea. No, that mint whipped cream on brownies is like, people, they're just like, wow, so anyway, so there you go, quick, simple idea, and by the way, before we wrap up, if you like this and you'd like to know more about um, tea infused recipes, this is just one idea that we're going to be sharing at the Midwest Tea Festival coming up in Kansas City next month on September the 9th and 10th. We'll be teaching a class on cooking with tea and we're going to share nine different techniques and a few bonus ideas and, and just lots and lots of recipe ideas of things that you can do with tea. So anyway, hopefully if you're in the Midwest, we will see you at Midwest Tea Fest. And otherwise, we will see you on our next video. Thanks.